as a veterinarian, it's very disappointing to me to see that I'm not making a huge difference in a lot of animals. And with 46% of dogs getting cancer and 39% of cats getting cancer, as a small animal practitioner, I feel often that I'm, there are things that we're doing that are not good enough. Ozone therapy, as I have said many times in my life, is probably the best thing that I have added to my care regimens in my whole career. Yeah, where I came across it was I was looking for options for my wife who was having a severe respiratory situation and the doctor started throwing out heart-lung transplant and uh, so we started uh, uh, with some ozone and uh, and her, her last, she's gone back to riding horses and done very well and the last time she had a CAT scan her doctor who wanted to put her on steroids, uh, heavy doses of steroids and she would not do that, uh, looked at her and says I don't know what you're doing and knowing your husband, I probably don't want to know what you're doing, but my suggestion is you continue doing it. And she's back to riding and, and doing much, much improved. Because I was trying to find another way to help the horse that I love so much to get better, and that's how I got into ozone. It's just, I felt sort of like there was no other choice. Euthanasia was my only choice, and that wasn't good enough for me. So why not try something that might help him? And he lived two and a half more years of quality jumping in horse shows and having a great life. It's kind of an unknown, really, in the vet world. Well, I believe that if you're not using ozone, you need to. There's a lot of modalities out there, and we can't have all of them, but I feel that ozone is one of the most basic, because what do animals need? They need hydration. We all have IV fluids, sub-Q fluids. Nobody would not have that. And the same thing, oxygen. I think it's a perfect modality to for any conventional or holistic practice or for people to use at home, use it on yourself at home, right? You can ozonate water and drink that yourself. The, you, well, you talked with Darcy, she's found a million uses for it on her ranch. It's not limited just to small animals, right? You can use it on all of your livestock or um, your horses and it's great. A lot of times it's the reason they're coming to me. Ozone therapy in my clinic is something that I administer to just about every animal, even if it's just had a chiropractic or an acupuncture treatment or a homeopathic consult, we use ozone because ozone really helps the effectiveness of all of my therapies. So that if I'm giving an ozone treatment at a very reasonable cost to the owner, then my ozone machines all have paid for themselves within two to three months of my acquiring them. And I have five. You know, it is a definite money maker and it paid itself off for sure. Another great case we just had was a mare that had a uterine infection uh, for over two years. Um, I happen to know it was my mare and, uh, and very aggressive therapy. Um, you know, of course her last foal is a horse of the year world champion now. and uh, and. Finally, this year we started uh, lavaging her with ozonated saline, and we've delivered two embryos so far this year. Hmm. So, uh, the first time that's happened in two years with this mare, fighting a chronic uh, endometritis. I find that ozone is the cornerstone. It is the, it is the common denominator that improves outcomes more than anything else I do. You know, one of my uh, first patients, Shelby, you know, this owner was super dedicated, like 16 year old German Shepherd. She carried this dog out to pee and poop and carried it back inside. Cause she was coming for acupuncture and stuff. And I got my machine, I'm like, hey, client name. You know, can we give her some ozone? And it made the difference in this dog's life that she could walk outside to pee on her own. And that makes a difference in an owner's life who doesn't have to carry the dog outside all the time. And some euthanasia decisions that have to do with quality of life, it really has made a huge difference. So I would encourage any veterinarian who is looking to practice higher quality medicine, who really wants to make an impact on their patient's health, incorporate tools that allow them to do that, and ozone is absolutely number one on my list.